So now let's talk about the advantage of negative feedback. Following are the advantage of negative feedback is highly stabilized gain, reduction in the noise level, increased bandwidth, increased input impedance and decreased output impedance and finally the less distortion. So this is a bit more interesting. We are going to talk about the transistor oscillators. What is oscillator? An oscillator may be defined as an electronic circuit which converts your energy from a direct current source into a periodically varying output. You are able to see it here. So oscillators are classified according to the output voltage into two types. One is sinusoidal, the other one is non-sinusoidal oscillators. If the output voltage is a sine wave function of time, the oscillator is said to be sinusoidal oscillator. If the oscillators are generating a different, it's non-sinusoidal waveform such as maybe a square, rectangular waves, then it's called as non-sinusoidal oscillators that's referred to as multivibrators. You are able to see the square and rectangular waves, that's non-sinusoidal waveform and this is the non-sinusoidal oscillators. The oscillators can be classified according to the range of frequency as the audio frequencies and the radio frequencies. So the oscillators may be any one of the three types. One is LC oscillator, the inductor capacitance oscillator. The other one is RC oscillator, the resistor capacitor oscillators and finally crystal oscillators.